Work it, you three. Work it. No, too close, too close, too close. Yes, come on, give me more full body. Yes, give me more cold stare. Yes, you are professionals. Yes, you know what you are doing. Yes, that is the way. You are going to be very successful at this. Yes. What's up, guys? I'm Mickey. Welcome to my channel. Today's a very special day because today we're going to be making ice cream. Not one ice cream, not two ice cream, but three ice creams. We're going to be making my favorite ice cream right now, which is a triple chocolate ice cream. We'll also be making a banana caramel chocolate ice cream, and we'll be making a mint chip ice cream. I'm looking forward to this ice cream. Ice cream has always been a big comfort food to me, even when I was a little fat boy, like we're talking, I'd eat like half a dozen ice cream sandwiches or ice cream bars in one go. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe and hit the bell notification so you always be notified whenever one of my ridiculous videos comes up. The ice cream is a base that I've been working on for a long time, long, long time, years, trying to do this and that and the other, trying to make the ice cream, obviously keto. This is a keto ice cream thing. You're not gonna see me make anything that's not keto. To make it the tastiest good mouth feel, all you have to do is take it out of the freezer and leave it out for 10, 15 minutes, and then it should be soft enough to eat right out of the container. Links in the descriptions though, just in case, like you said, you prefer to have to, to just jump right directly to one of the ice creams, all of the bases are the same. So keep that in mind. It's the best base I've come up with so far. I'm always open to improving and I will improve it over time as always. If uh, you happen to have comments or ways I can make the ice cream better, hey, me and my stomach will thank you. If you want to comment below, I'd be happy to hear it um, because I will be I will test stuff out. I am a person who will try and try and try and try and test and test and test and test. I don't even know how many tasty tests and tasty trials I've made when it comes to making this ice cream. So I'm trying different kind of stuff that, you know, it was a long progression. I started with trying to take coconut milk and do it. I mean, in theory that's possible, but it always seemed to freeze hard as a rock, even when I used an ice cream mixer. In this one, we're not gonna use a mixer, we're going to use a blender. You could use a hand mixer if you needed to, or if you, are willing to put in the, the effort, you could whisk, you could whisk it up. I just prefer to use a blender. Triple chocolate ice cream. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take two and a half cups of heavy cream, put it in lay blender. Next, we're going to add five whole eggs. Next, we're going to add the secret to uh, chocolate ice cream, actually most chocolate in general, is, believe it or not, vanilla extract. So we're gonna add one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm gonna add a quarter cup, Truvia. I make my own, but you can always buy it in the store. Swerve and other things also work very well. One quarter cup. A half a teaspoon of salt. Next, we're gonna add a scoop of Keto Slim Fast Meal Shake, the chocolate one, so tasty. One scoop is only like, um, seven. One scoop's only like two net carbs. Mm. A little bit can go a long way. There we go. A quarter cup of Hershey's Dark Cocoa. You can always use the milk chocolate instead. The dark to me, just the flavor is just so much better. 
large splash of Tarani sugar-free syrup. This stuff is great. It's got that classic like chocolate milky type um, flavor. And so we're just gonna add a large splash of that. Yeah. And we're going to blend this now. And while we're blending, we're going to add half a teaspoon of xanthan gum and half a teaspoon of gelatin for uh, mouthfeel and texture. So, and you wanna do this while it's blending because otherwise it's going to clump. So, Start it on low. Make it thin there. Then you're going to put the ice cream in the freezer overnight. We are going to make a banana caramel chocolate ice cream now. So we're going to start with about two and a half cups of heavy cream, five whole eggs. Now we're going to add 1.5 teaspoons of banana extract. McCormick is definitely, when it comes to most everything, my favorite extract maker. They just never, they never disappoint. The flavor is always so good, so on point. Next we're going to add a quarter cup of Truvia sweetener. You can also use Swerve, Allulose, um, other, you know, other sorts of sweeteners if you prefer a low carb. Next we're going to add half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of xanthan gum, and also half a teaspoon of gelatin, but we're going to do it while it's blending. So, you never want to blend this stuff too long because then the whipped cream and whatnot ends up turning more into, I mean, the heavy cream turns into more like whipped cream. So. That's another recipe for another day. So, as always, you taste and go, see how it is. That's hell good. Now what we're gonna do is put this in a container in the freezer to start freezing and then we'll dice up our chocolate. Hails to the year. Now we're gonna dice up our chocolate, and the chocolate I'm using is a Keto Slim Fast Caramel Cup Fat Bomb. You can always use another kind of chocolate if you prefer, but I have a bunch of these left, so I thought mine as well. That should be about enough to add to our ice cream once it is frozen. It's been about three hours now since we've put the banana ice cream in the freezer. It should be thick enough now that we can mix in the chocolate.
Now we'll put this back in the freezer until it's firm. Now we're going to make a mint chip ice cream. We're gonna start with half a bar of Baker's chocolate unsweetened cocoa. You wanna take it, break it up, because it's in various squares. And we're going to blend it up until it's uh, pretty, pretty fine. Looks pretty good. So the chunks are not too big in there. <clears throat> now we're going to start with our regular base. We're going to add two and a half cups of heavy cream. make that more like two cups since we're out of heavy cream. <laughs> we'll still be good. It'll be extra chocolatey after extra minty. As they say, the show must go on. Now we're going to add five medium eggs. Add one and a half teaspoons of peppermint extract. This makes quite a minty ice cream. A quarter cup of Truvia. A half a teaspoon of salt. Start blending stuff up and then we're gonna add half a teaspoon of xanthan gum and half a teaspoon of gelatin while it's blending so then the Make sure it gets a nice smooth, smooth mouthfeel at the end and gelatin and xanthan have a tendency to clump up. Now it looks like a little bit of the chocolate has clumped up here. Please add, um, green food coloring. Holy smokes, you watched the video to the end. You must have liked it. Well, I appreciate you for watching the video. It really does help me out with this channel. I am really trying to bring as much value as I can. So anyway, uh, like and subscribe to this video and don't forget to uh, hit the bell notification so you know when my videos are gonna come out next. So anyway, I'm gonna go and eat three quarts of ice cream and enjoy the hell out of myself. Later.